So here are some tips and questions to check your understanding about linear programming concepts. So this is a self-check that you can do to see that at least the units match for your objective function and all the constraints. Let's take an example of the objective function of the Apeto problem. You see that in the Diapeto problem, our objective is to maximize profit. So Z there, it must be in a monetary unit, for example, in dollars. And then from the problem, you see that 3 here means $3 per unit soldiers. And then you define your X1 is the number of soldiers, so it's also in the unit of soldiers. When you multiply this two, three dollars per unit soldier times unit soldier, it becomes a dollar in the units. Same thing for train, two is two per unit train. X2 is the number of trains, so you can be sure that this right hand side part is in dollar, and then the left hand side part is also in dollar. So at least from the terms of units, your formulation is already okay. So for each question here, I would like you to pause the video and think about the answer. I will give the answer after the pause. So the first question, these two definitions of decision variables are incorrect. Why? The answer is your decision variables must be specific. If you just define a variable to be trains each week, it can be the number of trains, the total length of trains, how many meters, how many kilometers. It can be number of trains repaired each week, so you must be very specific. The number of trains produced each week. Now the second question, why x3 here is an incorrect decision variable? Same as before, I will give you the answer after the pause. Well, the answer is because the number of finishing hours available each week is already known from the problem, 100 hours. We call it parameter. That's why it's not something that we need to decide. It is already known. We have 100 hours of finishing hours. Therefore, it is not a decision variable. These two definitions of decision variables are both incorrect. Why? X1 is wrong because we do not decide the profit. Remember that we decide how many trains and soldiers we produce, and then as a consequence, we obtain the profit. So profit is our objective not decision. X2 is wrong because we do not decide the number of finishing hours to use. We decide how many soldiers and trains we produce such that as a consequence again, we will use the finishing hours. I hope these questions helps you understand all the four characteristics of a linear programming problem.